artists are picking up their paintbrushes to fight back. They're putting together a new exhibit about violence in the city that features art created by victims and their families. Our Aisha Husney got a first look. I was nothing. I was nobody. I was less than everybody else in the world. You don't need to see her entire face to see the pain this woman felt married to a man who beat her for 13 years. It was just a nightmare of those 13 years. I, would, I felt like I was nobody. The image, part of evidence photos of that abuse taken by police right after a beating. Artist Greta Waller had to put it on canvas. Instead of it just being a photo, an evidence photo of the abuse that happened right after this woman was, was beat, a painting has the ability to interpret reality and infuse it with emotion. Waller is one of 13 artists that'll be featured in an exhibit on the culture of violence in Indianapolis, opening in the Raymond James Stutz Art Gallery on Friday. Much of the art is created by victims of violence. Two artists portray family murders. Violence is here and it's part of our culture. <laughs> so the gallery partnered up with a 10 point coalition to start a community dialogue about how to deal with the violence in the city. I want people to go away from this exhibit moved and willing to talk and think about what each of our responsibility is in this violent culture we live in. You're good. For the woman in this painting, this is her part in that conversation, her testament that we can move forward. I feel that I can go and be somebody now, that I can be a strong person now. That exhibit called Cold, Dark, Unsecurity opens tomorrow and runs through February 27th. The Stutz Gallery downtown will have it. It's free, but any donations will go to the 10-point coalition. Pretty dry weather we 